Saturday, 5th November, featuring from Trinidad, Scrunto, Baron, Marcia Miranda, Darling, look, it's Christmas, a special time of year. From Grenada, Caracou String Band, Lele Le, Le. Oh, yeah. Hess and Leke and Steve Theodore. Get your early bird ticket for $60 after you pay $80 and more at the door. And are available at Chucky's Bar, Brendan on the Terminal, Grenada Optical in St. George's, Kittens Pharmacy Granville, Kittens Healthcare Grand Ants, Chai's Bar St. Mark's, Nick and Bites Quav, St. David's Pharmacy, Calico Shopping Center, Main Street, Sutiz, Soka Parang in the Basket, Spice Basket, Saturday, 5th November, Showtime, 8 p.m. Brought to you by National Lotteries Authority, We FM, Force FM, Top FM, Magic FM, Bulk by Carib, Captain. Harris, GBN, MTV, Alamanda Hotel, Three O's Auto Supplies, and Grenada Distillers, Soka Parang, Indeed Basket, Spice Basket, Saturday, 5th November, Showtime, 8 p.m. It's another Chucky's promotion. Running low on groceries? Why not visit realvalueiga.com and experience our new online shopping platform? Place your order, then go out and enjoy your day to spend more time with friends and family. Free delivery available within select locations or in-store pickup available. Sounds simple, right? It is. Stress less, live more with Real Value IGA Online Store, where good food begins. The National Insurance Scheme continues to make it easy to access our services using the MyNIS online platform. Now we are introducing a new feature that allows you to submit your benefit claims from the convenience of your smart devices. No paper, no hassle. All you have to do is log in to my.nisgrenada.org, select Claims, fill out the relevant information, and click Submit. We'll take it from there. It's that simple and that easy. Submit a claim from the comfort of your home as you rest and recuperate. Enjoy the convenience of faster claim processing and monitor the status of your claim every step of the way. We are excited to introduce this new feature to better serve you. NIS is changing the game and the way you make your claim. Access anywhere and anytime with My NIS Online. Have you ever imagined the value of being provided the best care services in the comfort of your own home? Or do you need caregivers that are truly invested in the health and well-being of your loved ones? Here at Innovative Healthcare, we are committed to providing you the highest quality care right in your home and the flexibility to recover at your own pace. Our services include Alzheimer's dementia care, wound care, physiotherapy, post-hospitalization care, cataract care, and so much more. We understand the great importance of your health and privacy. That's why we have a fully staffed team comprising of medical doctors, registered nurses, patient care technicians, and nursing assistants. We are located at Grove Street, St. George's. So contact us on 404-7838 to book an appointment today. All righty, and we'd like to say welcome, welcome to one and all to another Mikey Life program. I'm your host, Mikey Hutchinson, and we are coming to you live from the spice I love the Caribbean. That is Grenada, and we have it all in abundance, sand, sea, and sun, you know, all the beautiful things we've got it. Of course, we have quite a bit to talk to you about today. It's been a very... Um, eventful day it's, it's, it's so much uh, happening so we it, need to tell you about that boy um, we gotta let you know that uh, uh, one man has killed his ex-lover we'll tell you more about that and police they are investigating that particular incident and uh, as well uh, a girlfriend killer is found guilty in the high court 
and is to be sentenced um, in a couple of weeks. October 19 holiday in Grenada may not really happen as you expect it to. We'll tell you why. And one man who's been wanted by police um, is now apprehended. We'll tell you more about that. And popular, uh, what should I say, business typhoon. Uh, tycoon, <laughs> um, that is Peter de Savary, has died. We'll talk to you more about that in a moment. There's been a multiple vehicle crash and several persons hospitalized. We'll tell you more about that too. As I said, um, there's a lot happening today and we'll tell you more about it in a moment. And of course, we got to let you know that the headlines was brought to you through the kind compliments of courts, Grenada Limited, Digicel, Nawasa, the Housing Authority of Grenada, the National Insurance Scheme, Innovative Healthcare Services, Infinite Contractors, and of course, um, all uh, superb distributors. Um, we want to say thank you as well and to all the other um, sponsors of this program um, we want to say thank you for so doing so folks we're going to take a break and when we come back it will be real news in Ole Lili Lolo if you have not yet done so we'd like to encourage you to share the program you see once you share that's how other people get to know that we are alive so go ahead people and share the business sharing is caring come on man so share the business we'll be back we support you at every stage of your life For business. For your education. For your financial freedom. For that new ride. Upgrade your life with the communal. Contact us today. Do you need to get one of these tests done at an affordable price? Well, look no further. Visit Allied Laboratories by Fit for Life today. We offer VDRL, CBC, ANA, Rheumatoid Factor, D-Dimer, TROP1, HbA1c. PTINR and PTT. Call one of our branches today, conveniently located at Grenville and Granats, and one of our staff members will be happy to assist. Please note that there are over 200 tests available, and these are only a few. So call today and book your appointment. Infinite Contractors and Machinery. We are your one-stop engineering and consultancy company with experience locally, regionally, and internationally. We provide excavation services and engineering consultancy, construction of residential and commercial structures, civil works such as drainage, retaining walls, roads, concrete patio services, paving services, concrete driveway services, remodeling and renovation, painting services, styling services, and so much more. Ask about our rental services of excavators, heavy equipment, metal formwork, and steel prop. Contact us today via telephone number 537-9675 or email infinitecontractors19 at gmail.com. Affordable quality products delivered to you via superb service. We are superb distributors, wholesalers and authorized agents for trusted products you know and love. Like Rika Juices, Pure Heaven Products, Bibin Diapers, New Bright Laundry Detergent, Allegra Pasta and more. Contact Superb Distributors at 435-2948 for superb quality and service. Yeah, so again, um, we'd like to officially say welcome to one and all. Y'all realize All Saints, like, is tomorrow, is it? Well, what has happened to All Saints? All Saints used to be a big thing. Like a huge thing. What's happened? All these little traditions, they are just going out the door. But anyway, the traffic department of the Royal Grenada Police Force notifies the general public 
of the traffic arrangement, and that is to facilitate the celebration of the uh, Feast of the All Saints on Tuesday, 1st November. The traffic arrangements will be in effect at 6 p.m. until the conclusion of the activities. In terms of the one-way, Old Fort Road will operate as a one-way traffic going towards Lucas Street direction. No vehicles will be allowed to access Old Fort Road from Lucas Street end. The Cemetery Hill will also be made one-way traffic towards Old Fort direction. In terms of no parking, no vehicles will be allowed to park along the River Road Public Road from the roundabout at La Croix Cemetery uh, or crematorium to its uh, intersection with the Humback Bridge. No vehicles will be allowed to park on either side of Queen's Park Public Road. All right, please be guided accordingly. All right, well, yeah, the next thing, the Grenada Tourism Authority, they say that they are pleased to announce that the British Airways has added additional um, capacity to the tri-island state of Grenada, Cariacou, and the PT Martinique with a weekly Sunday service from London Gatwick via Antigua. Now, to celebrate the additional flight, the GTA hosted a small arrival ceremony at the VIP government lounge at the Morris Bishop International Airport with local stakeholders and the media. Well, the additional flight provides the welcome um, capacity to ensure those wanting to, to experience Grenada, Caracol, and Pity Martinic will have an opportunity to do so. All right, so I, I think that's good too, you know what I mean? I like a family ending. Uh, you know, so I, I'm happy that they'll be able to come and, you know what I mean? Good, 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 good. So we're pretty. Now, the next thing that we had to tell all you about, boy, you know, we've been telling you about some wanted men um, since last week. So we have, uh, we have um, an update for you. The Royal Grenada Police Force, they say that they like to extend appreciation to the general public for your assistance in locating Devon Charles, who was reported wanted on Thursday, 27th October, 2022. Now, Mr. Charles was apprehended. He was subsequently charged and placed on bail. All right, so catch up, man, to let him go. <laughs> oh, yeah, on a more serious note, boy, um, you know, we learned that uh, uh, Mr. Peter De Savory. You know him very well, Peter De Savory from uh, Monk Cinnamon and other investments. He has died. You know? You know? They say he suddenly died. You understand? That's tough. Because I know he, though he was, there was just a recently, just a couple of days, well, a couple of weeks ago, there was an announcement that. He was, well, he has handed over the Monk Cinnamon business to his business partner and friend, Mr. Barry Collymore. And they were elated to make that transition, to, to make that transaction or transition, however you want to call it. You understand? So, you know, after one time is the next. They say he suddenly passed. But this is, uh, I don't know, boy. Tough. You know? He's an inter uh, international entrepreneur and yachtsman, philanthropist, etc. Listen, that man, I mean, when you check out his history, you understand? If you check out that man's history as a successful businessman, you know, I was just researching him uh, a couple weeks ago. Yo, you know, he's, he's well accomplished. Well accomplished. You know? All you. What we've heard of um, that there were several persons who were admitted to hospital this morning as a result of a multiple vehicle smash up that happened in the St. David area. According to one source, um, uh, the brakes of a, a bus that was heading to St. George's gave way. The life, the, and then the, the driver lost control and there was a, a collision with other vehicles along the road. You understand? They say that uh, when, when people responded to the accident, the driver was unconscious, according to reports. And they say that there were a couple of people, well, who were brought to the general hospital for treatment from injuries that they would have sustained from that accident this morning. And then 
sorry, there were a couple accidents on the weekend as well. You know, quite a bit of accidents on the weekend, just the same. Chanua. I don't know what to say. Anyway, let's move on. Um, one man has killed his former lover. The accident happened, the incident, sorry, happened at Beaton in St. David this morning. You understand? Now we heard from police who say that just before midnight, midday today, in response to reports, police proceeded to Beaton in St. David where they found the motionless body of a female lying in an area close to her dwelling home. They say initial observation of the body revealed significant blunt force trauma to her head. And then the body was later pronounced by a medical, a dead by a medical doctor. And they're saying that a, a post-mortem is expected to, to be conducted. You understand? Crazy stuff. So, the superintendent, he saw Pe was at the scene. He's commander, he's commander of the Eastern Division. And he shared with us um, some initial um, information. So yes, we did receive information of um, very um, sad nature of the incident here at Beaton. Um, a team of officers, both from the Grenville and St. David's Police, backed up by Rapid Response Unit, attended to the location. And um, at present, um, the deceased is at the scene. Um, the suspect, um, Godfrey, as known by, um, is at large. and. Um, we have already commenced operation to try and locate him. Um, we'll be encouraging Godfrey to turn himself in to the police. Uh, anyone having any information of his whereabouts, again, please contact the St. David's Police Station um, or call 911 to give such information. Um, yes, there's a um, deceased, deceased um, is um, Sharon. Andrea Williams. I um, take this opportunity to express um, condolences to her family and friends. Well, you know what? We, we, we understand that she, uh, the deceased, she was a mother of three. You understand? And that they were in a relationship before, and then he, um, he inflicted some wounds on her, chopped wounds to the point where one of her arms were cut off by him, according to sources, you know? Um, you know, it's a lot of stuff that we are hearing about this, it, this, this particular relationship that has gone sour. But as the police were saying that uh, immediately following the incident, the perpetrator or the alleged perpetrator was nowhere to be found. But police later caught up with him. Not too, too, too far um, from where the incident took place. You know, so they say that he tried to run away or he tried to hide or whatever the case is, but then um, police, they were able to catch up with him. You know? I mean, it's hard. It's hard to accept, you know, that uh, things have to be that way. You know, you, you, you have falling out and stuff, but to take somebody's life, it's just not, I mean, what the hell? You know what I mean? What the hell? But anyway, going back to the point, um, yeah, police was able to catch up with him. You know, and I say, I say, I say, damn man. You know what I mean? Damn man. Yeah, Papa look like he's, you know, <laughs> Papa look like he's on his way out, you know what I mean? But anyway, 
This is this is the individual who um, is being accused of the incident. Now you would see um, that there he seemed to be nursing some injuries. You know, uh, his hands are banned. Well, his hands has two bands on it and so on. You know. Well, according to one source, that is because upon seeing what um, what would have happened, and again, all these are stories being told. You know. Somebody responded you understand, in defense of the victim. So in defense of the victim, an individual responded and inflicted some wounds on the alleged perpetrator. And that is why you see that it appears that he is um, nursing some injuries. You understand? But of course, the police say that they are doing their investigation. Police are investigating. Yes? And so, once all the facts are put together, then we will know exactly what has taken place today. But, um, for, for what we know, one woman is dead. You know? And it is not the first time that she's been severely beaten. You understand? By a male companion or her male companion or former companion. People. That is not the kind of beating that is meant for you women. You understand? So you see it happen once, you see it happen twice. Take warning. I know sometimes you say you'll get better. He go change. Or she go change. All year. All year. Take note. And if that doesn't strike you, if this doesn't strike you, let me tell you more. Let me tell you more. You remember a couple years ago, I think it was in 2018 or something, so to quote me. We're moving along. You understand? Mr. Randy John was taken into police custody as a main suspect in the death of his teenage girlfriend. So today's incident coincides with the wrapping up of that particular case. Well, I believe she was only 16 years old when her decomposing body was found dumped on the house. Days after she was killed or last seen, 16 years. So, if these things don't strike you, all right, anyway, Randy John, the case today concluded. Before justice, Paula Gifford. Right? They say this verdict came out in less than 30 minutes. The jury came out with that, with their verdict. Record, record timing. In fact, decorated prosecutor Howard Pinnock would come in the room just now. They were saying that, you were saying that it's the first time you ever see a case finish, um, a verdict come out quick so. You understand? Before you put the coffee on fire and you, you, you blow it. Verdict. Guilty of capital murder, you know. One of the highest forms of crimes one can ever commit. You usually have non-capital murder. But there's some people, capital murder. So then Randy is to return to court on December 20th for the actual sentencing in the matter. Now his attorney, his attorney, Jerry Edwin, he says that while his role is to offer mitigation on his, on, on his behalf and plead with the court to not give him the maximum sentence, he believes 
in this particular case, that justice was served. The very highest, the most severe charge on our law books in Grenada. Capital murder means, of course, that a felony, as we would say in other jurisdictions, a crime independent of the murder of Quinnett Johnson was committed by Randy. The actual and what we have done is request a social inquiry report as well as a psychiatric report. Now, this is all the normal process in murder convictions. A social inquiry report will look into the background and the community relations between the convicted person to assist the judge in her sentence. Now, the father of the deceased, you remember Quinnett, right? That's all there. Her father, Cuthbert Johnson, speaking following the court hearing, he says that he is pleased. He understand? He said that he is pleased with the outcome. He can't get back his daughter, who he, ex he explains as being, you know, the life of the party, you know, ding, ding, ding. But at least he's satisfied that justice is served. Well, I'm, I'm more than pleased for the sentence that this guy got for the, the pain he put the family through, you know. I'm more than happy. I've been waiting long for justice for my child. Basically, I'm satisfied. It was really painful because, I mean, the day before we was driving along in the car together with all she smile and happiness, you know, mm -hmm. warmness. And by a couple of days after I had to go and look after the, the partly decomposed body of my child, you know, it was really a pain. It was a real pain. She was the, the fun and joy of the house. She used to make everybody laugh whenever the house and anything. She would just go and put on her makeup and come out and make everybody laugh. You know, she, she was the pride and joy of the home. Well, actually, they thought I disappeared because she was the youngest, you know, the big one. The, the bigger sister, to her, she's in England, a brother in England, another brother he married and living outside, you know, so basically. Like a baby. Huh? She was a baby. Yeah, she was the last baby. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I don't understand. But anyway, um, senior. Crown Counsel Howard Pinnock, he was the, um, the prosecutor on the matter. I was not surprised. What surprised me was how quickly the jury returned the verdict. Because in my 16 years of prosecuting in Grenada and four years in Jamaica, this is the quickest I've seen a jury ever come back. Well, less than an hour. In a, way less than an hour. That tells you how sure they were of the guilt of, the, the, of, of um, Mr. John. And I'm saying this, uh, I'm not, it's not a moment of triumph for me because these matters, you know, a young man who is just 24 now is going to face the reality that he's going to spend most of his life, a significant part of his life now in prison. So it's not a moment of triumph. It's not an easy thing for a parent to bury. No parent should have ever have to bury their child. You know, and in the circumstance, particularly in the circumstances of this case, mm -hmm. you know, it wasn't a road traffic accident, it wasn't natural causes. Yeah. It was just something that was totally avoidable. And to see the decompose, and to not even to be able to look at the face of your child for one last time. Yeah. So I'm very happy, you know, because justice, in, justice has been done. Yes, you know, and listen, let me tell you something, eh? You see, you see, relationship violence? It might be more prevalent than you think. I'm telling you. Anyway, hold on. So John, he was arrested and subsequently charged sometime in October of 2018, shortly after the, 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 the decomposing body of Quinnett um, Johnson was discovered beneath a, an abandoned house in the village of Sh uh, Charlotteville. That's in St. David. Hold on. So let me go. Nixian killed under the most gruesome of circumstances. Yes, you remember, right? And her, uh, her killer just walked free the other day. Follow me. What's, what was that young lady's name again in the, the incident that happened in Springs? You understand? Recently, Lindy Skinner in Jean Angle. Dead. All right, then um, there are a lot more. 
a lot more that we can pull out if we take a five minutes of people who were killed, women who were killed or severely beaten or abused by their partners who say that they love them. And I'm sure if I'm to put out a survey now and ask you, just say I, everyone possibly on this live tonight can't say they know of one case of relationship violence. It is more prevalent than you might want to believe. If you know of a situation of domestic or relationship, I like to call it relationship violence, not domestic, relationship violence, say I on the live. If you know anyone who has been a victim of relationship violence, say I. You understand? And watch. So that is the point. The point is, there are many cases of that nature. Too many, if you ask me. Some are being swept under the rug because we are pride. We don't want nobody to know that their relationship is working better than ours. So we sit down there and we take it. You don't have to. You don't have to. You understand? You don't have to, people. You don't have to. I tell you, it could lead in debt. I see them thing, by. I see them thing. So how you reach to a point where a man cut off your hand? You understand? And still live to kill you again. To kill you on the back, you know? <coughs> well, I hope they break up and thing, but still. Anyway. <sighs> anyway, look, 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 look at the eyes. Everybody on the program, if you don't know of a, a domestic or a, a relationship violence that has happened or still happening, well, I don't know. You're living on that rock or you lie. So the truth is there are so many happening. W women, one of you listening to me now, you can develop the strength and move on. He ain't going to change. He hit you three times. That is it. It's a wrap. That's a habit. That isn't a mistake. If he hit you three times, that, eventually, that relationship eventually will still end. So save yourself all the wasting of time. Don't waste your time. The relationship will still end if you see he hit you three times. Three times. And I've been very extreme. I'm putting it nicely. Three times, that relationship will end anyway. So you decide how it will. Is that how you walk away? I end up telling this story on Mikey Life, God forbid. Anyway. So, all you. Let's move on here, Papa. Um, October 19th holiday in Grenada may not happen. So you remember, we were telling you when, on October 19th, when we had the night thing, when Ron Redhead came and he talked nice about the business, that he wanted to put a little holiday on the 19th and things like that. You know, so I tell all of that on the business. Well, me going through the news, and I'm hearing a different story. That there might just be a little challenge. Where that is concerned. And you don't have to take it from me. Here's our colleagues. October 19th will be declared a holiday. With that announcement, people who for years had clamored for October 19th to be declared a public holiday in Grenada were loud in their applause. Now it appears not so fast. From all reports from multiple sources, a decision on that issue has not been taken, nor one, according to one source, even likely to be taken. One official in the government conceded that Junior Minister Ron Redhead may have spoken prematurely when he made the announcement recently. Redhead had made the announcement at ceremonies this month observing the anniversary of the assassination of revolutionary leader Maurice Bishop and some of his supporters back in 1983. There was a surprise at the time that the announcement had come from a junior minister, and Prime Minister Deacon Mitchell has yet to speak publicly on the issue. In fact, when Prime Minister Mitchell spoke at the October 25th Thanksgiving service to mark the subsequent U.S. invasion, he hinted at a different approach. Thanksgiving Day holds a special significance in Grenada. Speaking now to WPG10, Redhead himself is now suggesting that instead consultations will be held on how the dates between the killing of Bishop and the U.S. invasion of October 25th 
should be observed. Acknowledging those periods does not mean holidays. So let me put on the table that what government announced was a proposal to discuss. It is not set in stone. As it is tonight, the government is likely to stick exclusively with the October 25th national holiday, which, as one critic puts it, is a time a nation celebrates its rape. In his latest interview, a major walkback of his earlier pronouncement, Redhead conceded that this is now likely to be the case. There is a proposal to just designate the day, October 19th, as Mars Bishop Day, and we uh, do not mark the holiday then but we mark the holiday when the violence ended on the 25th and we keep the present um, structure of the 25th the government held a retreat on the weekend in st george's amidst some concerns that many of its rookie ministers are not coming up to speed quickly enough following the june 23 general elections an entire team of first timers were installed from the Kaya Public News Service, I am Tahira Burke for Primetime Caribbean. Thank you very much, Tahira. And uh, what says you about the, about, about the 19th? Um, would you support the 19th if it was brought to the table for consultation and your, your, um, ultimately would be your decision as uh, general public? Would you agree that the 19th be a holiday as well? You know, probably something for you to think about. We are moving on. How are we looking for time? Oh yeah. So here's what um, the next thing that we have to tell you about, boy. <coughs> Hold on. Political scientist and well-known talk show host from um, from Barbados. You know him well, Peter Wickham. He has been fired from his job at Starcom Network. Wickham, who established himself as a household name and a commentator on Down to Brass Tax on on Starcom Network for over a decade, made the announcement on Monday on social media, which was followed up with an on-air announcement by the radio station itself. It says that, I have, been, I have just been advised by the management of Starcom that my services as a, a moderator have been terminated unilaterally. So that's it for me and brass tacks. He posted on his social media page okay so i mean life goes on right life goes on you know sometimes we, we just be so one thing i find about us we just free, we are afraid to mikey hire him now <laughs> one thing we must be afraid to is let go because we think that life listen we have one life to live we must um although stability is important we must explore so when somebody closes the door in your face and maybe it's the time to just turn your back and walk away. Turn to the next direction. Go through a window. You understand? Look for an opportunity. Yes? Because for every door that closes, one opens. Yeah? And you have to believe that. And that might be the case with somebody on the program. Someone might be closing a door in your face. Where are you going to go sit down and crawl in and cuddle up yourself in a corner in the dark? Look for a way out. You have one life to live. Only one. So here's what we have for you right now. Hmm? I have an entertainment piece. An entertainment piece for you. We're not going to be having the national report. We have the, we'll have the weather. But we have an entertainment piece for you before we go over for the weather and the final wrap up. You understand? And coincidentally, um, while I was putting the entertainment piece together, I saw a message from the same individual. So I said, you know what? That must be some sort of divine intervention. What are the odds of this? So I'm here putting this together. And at the same time, the same person is hitting me up. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Thanksgiving edition from... Donnell Bess, a little bit of Grenadian nostalgia. In a caniba, liba, 
We are Grenadians, so are you. I love spice, where everything is nice. Grenada, may God bless you. Stepping off the plane It's so easy to breathe again Life in the big city Has finally took its toll And it's been so long But I'm finally home What better place To rest my weary bones down in this beautiful island, island Where there's so much to see Every corner I turn There's something else to remind me Of this beautiful nation And what it means to me Not a thing out of place That's what's special about it This is Home One from Donnell Best. This is our entertainment piece. We took a break and when we come back, we've got for you the national... No. When we come back, we've got for you the weather and our official wrap-up. We'll be back. Running low on groceries? Why not visit realvalueiga.com and experience our new online shopping platform. Place your order, then go out and enjoy your day to spend more time with friends and family. delivery available within select locations or in store pickup available sounds simple right it is stress less live more with real value iga online store where good food begins
National Insurance Scheme continues to make it easy to access our services using the MyNIS online platform. Now we are introducing a new feature that allows you to submit your benefit claims from the convenience of your smart devices. No paper, no hassle. All you have to do is log in to my.nisgrenada.org, select Claims, fill out the relevant information, and click Submit. We'll take it from there. It's that simple and that easy. Submit a claim from the comfort of your home as you rest and recuperate. Enjoy the convenience of faster claim processing and monitor the status of your claim every step of the way. We are excited to introduce this new feature to better serve you. NIS is changing the game and the way you make your claim. Access anywhere and anytime with My NIS Online. Have you ever imagined the value of being provided the best care services in the comfort of your own home? Or do you need caregivers that are truly invested in the health and well-being of your loved ones? Here at Innovative Healthcare, we are committed to providing you the highest quality care right in your home and the flexibility to recover at your own pace. Our services include Alzheimer's dementia care, wound care, physiotherapy, post-hospitalization care, cataract care, and so much more. We understand the great importance of your health and privacy. That's why we have a fully staffed team comprising of medical doctors, registered nurses, patient care technicians, and nursing assistants. We are located at Grove Street, St. George's. So contact us on 404-7838 to book an appointment today. We support you at every stage of your life. For business. For your education. For your financial freedom. For that new ride. Upgrade your life with the communal. Contact us today. Diamond Intercontinental Jewelry Store now has amazing deals, special discounted prices on wedding sets, watches and selected jewelry. We sell top brand jewelry and watches like Citizen, Guess and Klein and G-Shock all at the best prices in Grenada. We also buy scrap gold and offer the best deals and customer service on the island. Opening hours Mondays to Saturdays 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Diamond Intercontinental Jewelry Store located at the Esplanade Mall, St. George's, Grenada. Visit our brand new remodeled store or call us on telephone number 414-3114-232-1234 or WhatsApp 533-1581. Sale is on for a limited time only. only. Do you need to get one of these tests done at an affordable price? Well, look no further. Visit Allied Laboratories by Fit for Life today. We offer VDRL, CBC, ANA, Rheumatoid Factor, D-Dimer, TROP1, HbA1c, PTINR, and PTT. Call one of our branches today, conveniently located at Grenville and Granat, and one of our staff members will be happy to assist. Please note that there are over 200 tests available, and these are only a few. So call today and book your appointment.
and machinery. We are your one-stop engineering and consultancy company with experience locally, regionally, and internationally. We provide excavation services and engineering consultancy, construction of residential and commercial structures, civil works such as drainage, retaining walls, roads, concrete patio services, paving services, concrete driveway services, remodeling and renovation, painting services, styling services, and so much more. Ask about our rental services of excavators, heavy equipment, metal form work, and steel prop. Contact us today via telephone number 537-9675 or email infinitecontractors19 at gmail.com. Affordable quality products delivered to you via superb service. We are superb distributors, wholesalers and authorized agents for trusted products you know and love. Like Rika Juices, Pure Heaven Products, Bibin Diapers, New Bright Laundry Detergent, Allegra Pasta and more. Contact Superb Distributors at 435-2948 for superb quality and service. The Blood Tour with Marvia Providence. Marvia Providence with a live band bringing you some of her newest and greatest hits. If your hands are anointed, I'll feel you like a rolling, skipping. I am a warrior. Join the world renowned recording artist Marvia Providence live in Grenada on Saturday, November 19th, 2022 at 7 p.m. Venue, Gateway Conference Center on Maurice Bishop Highway, Grenada. Get your tickets at these locations now or visit www.grenadagospel.com. This chain-breaking praise tour is coming with a difference. Call 533-0099 for vending and sponsorship opportunities available. The Nawasa app brings the power of Nawasa's customer service experience to you. Instant, conversational, and smart. Easy access anywhere. Get bill balance, transaction history for up to six months, report a fault, link to websites, view payment centers, contact information, push notifications, and multi-tenant accounts all in a secure login platform. Like a self-service concierge app, mobile.nawasa.gd gets you the support you need much faster. Available on both Android and iOS platforms. Mobile.nawasa.gd, your customer support companion. Nawasa, committed to meeting customers' needs. Alrighty, and uh, folks, it is now time for the weather. What we can tell you is that the weather is expected to be partly cloudy with occasional light to moderate showers during cloudy spells. Tonight's minimum temperature 24.5 degrees Celsius, winds easterly to east southeasterly at uh, uh, 10 to 20 miles per hour, gusting higher in showers. Now, seas moderate with waves 4 to 6 feet in open waters. And for Tuesday, we can tell you that the weather is expected to be partly cloudy and windy with occasional light to moderate showers increasing in cloudiness and showers overnight with a low chance of isolated thunder. Now, um, the uh, maximum temperature for tomorrow is going to be 31 degrees Celsius and a minimum 24. But we'll tell you more about that um, tomorrow or should I? Okay, we have some time. All right, let me go quickly. So for tomorrow, winds east, not easterly to east south easterly at 14 to 24 miles per hour, gusting higher at times. Seas moderate to slightly rough, waves 5 to 7 feet in open waters. A small craft advisory will be in effect for tomorrow, God's willing. So again, the weather is expected to be, for Tuesday, partly cloudy and windy with occasional light to moderate showers, increasing in cloudiness and showers overnight with a low chance of isolated 
thunderstorms. So that's it for our weather. I would like to say hello to uh, the people who are currently locked in on YouTube. So all our YouTube viewers, all of you, um, would like to say hello to you. And likewise to our Facebook viewers, you know how much we appreciate you. Um, so, so, uh, what? so all our YouTube wait, viewers, wait, 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 but yes, so we want to say hello to all the, the viewers where we are on both platforms, whether it is that you are on Facebook, on YouTube. Um, we want to let you know that we appreciate you. So we see we have Miriam, we have Kirin, we have Cynthia, we have Diane, we have Zaka and, and the crew. So Zaka, blessings to you. And uh, who else? We have my mom, we have Lintana. We have, well, my and the entire family, you know, it's good that when your family is on. Yeah, so my family is on as well. So, Kirin, yeah, um, I can't see the shares. So, I hope that you um, you guys are up with your shares as you want it to be. Um, Rolanda, Adonna, Zaka again, Vicky, Cindy, um, Sharon, um, Javar, and the head, the, 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 um, the sharing committee, blessings to you guys. You guys work so hard. You work, you work so hard. Um, Bevon, blessings to you. Patty, hello to you. Uh, it's Clovey. Where is, uh, hey, Carol, how are you doing? Where, uh, we see Fiddling. Where is Suzette? Where is Suzette? Because Suzette's birthday came and she was not on the program where we were wishing her all the best. Hey, Marilyn, how are you? And praise and worship. And then I'm, I, I, I have, has she, has she been on for tonight? Did I see her? Okay, Kirin, 160, that's good. Um, did, did Suzette come on? If she doesn't come on, I would like to appoint some of you to put on detention. Hey, Esmond, how are you? <laughs> if, she, if, if, um, if, if Suzette is not on the program, I need you all to put her in detention. Suzette in love. Oh, oh, so, hey, Kalia, how are you doing? So, oh, I'm not, uh, oh. Oh, she's on honeymoon. Oh. You see, I don't, I, I, like, I'm not in the loop, Zaka. It's like I'm the only one not in the loop about this whole thing. So, Suzette is, is on honeymoon and all of that, and I don't know. Huh? Okay. All right, Diane and everyone else. So, Jacinta, how are you? <laughs> Blessings to you. All right, so, it appears that Suzette has something going on for her. Um, so, hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. Anyway, guys, um, time is up for us for tonight. And I'll be back with you guys tomorrow, God's willing, for another program. May God bless you, bless you, bless you. All right. So, hmm. Hmm. Joy us. Then people, Kelly, how are you? Then people leave us out, leave us out at 18. Eh? And Sweathead. Then people leave us, Albert, how are you? Then people leave us out at a Binis. I guess it's a, a, on a need to know basis. We didn't need to know, so that's why we don't know. So let's turn the other, you know, let's turn the other direction and my way. Binis! Bermuda. All right, so guys, take care. <laughs> let's go. In five, four, three, two, one. And we all say, Ja! No! All you? So we will touch base. You hear? Tell us that come away. She's still getting she banned. When she come, she getting she thing. Kalia, you need to talk to me? Okay, you can send me a message. All right? All right. So, guys, stay safe. May God bless you. And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to being back with you guys tomorrow. God's willing again, all right? Take care. Small man, you're in real trouble. Small man, want to come in the studio. Yeah, I'm done anyway. <laughs> Take care.